Good evening, everyone. It is Mystic Intellect. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I usually have not done this in my previous readings, but I'm going to go ahead and bow my head and pray for you guys before we get into this reading, especially after the 1111 portal that just came and went um spirit has a very important message for you all and um is really looking forward to sharing it with you guys um please um as uh as we tune into this reading the candles will be you know doing its thing reacting to the messages talking um doing its thing in terms of communicating throughout the reading so don't fret when you see that it's just the energy that is flowing through our reading at this time um so thank you spirit so much for being here with me at this time as i go ahead and give this wonderful reading and this wonderful message to the collective i pray that this message resonates with who it needs to resonate with and that this message actually makes an impact on the entire collective and that it just touches someone's heart at this time that needs it the most, especially the ones who are lost, who are in question, who needs guidance at this time. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Father God, for everything you have done on today. And thank you so much for using me as a vessel of communication to get the word across. Amen. All right. So let's go ahead and get in this reading. All right. So what is the old so what i'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and tune into the overall energy of the collective and then we're going to tune into the divine masculine versus the divine feminine and go ahead and get this message across for you guys tonight all right so what is going on with the collective at this time okay cool so healer of the ages so a lot of people in this collective are actually um actually awakening to the divine energy that is within them at this time a lot of people have been waking up to the the knowledge the wisdom of spirit and is actually hoping that as you're watching this video that you have been chosen to lead a collective of people towards their true calling, whether that means that you become a teacher, a light worker, uh, a guide of some sort, a, a teacher of something that you're very knowledgeable about, um, spirit is action that you just come forward and that you um, push yourself um, at this time because the overall energy is showing that you are a healer of this age and that you are seeking you are also seeking divine guidance at this time and spirit is saying that you have been on the right track for some time and that you just needed that validation that everything is going to be okay with you you are literally walking through this path of abundance at this time now there is a divine okay so there is a divine masculine holding a heart so collective, I'm assuming that the divine feminines are going to be the target for this card. And yes, it is. So we're going to say, okay, yeah. So this card was definitely for the entire collective, but this card is for both divine feminine and divine masculine. So divine masculines are definitely in the spirit of giving um, in terms of romantic offers and gestures at this time. There has been a lot, like I said, a lot of awakened um, divine counterparts um, lately who have been tuning in to spirit and praying and doing the work actually behind closed doors, whether you know it or not, divine feminines. There are um, an awakened collective of divine masculines who have been uh, contemplating on giving this offer because they have not been so sure about what they truly wanted in terms of um, their own stability in their in, in their own individual lives um, before they came forward, before these divine masters come forward, they want to be stable, Spirit is saying. Spirit is saying that they wanted to have their own lives planned out for themselves before they came forward to try to merge their lives with you. And at this time, there's a collective of divine masculines who are 
actually very, very sure of who they want. And it's you, Divine Feminine. And and you at this time, Divine Feminine, have been really glowing in this man's eyes, in this Divine Masculine's eyes. And just know that they're ready. It's, it's giving that energy of readiness. Like they're really showing up. They're, or they're getting ready to. If you haven't heard from them, they're getting ready to show up for the connection. And that's what Spirit really, genuinely wanted you to know at this time. So as I push these decks to the side, we're going to go ahead and get started with one of my new decks. As I'm so excited to use, which is the Gilded Tarot deck. So let's go ahead and get started. So Spirit, what is going on with the Divine Maskings at this time since... We have the man holding the hearts, looking at us so beautifully. All right. What is going on with the Divine Mask in here? In this collective, yes, who are actually showing up, it seems, for the connection. So what's going on with the Divine Maskings at this time? What's going on with the Divine Maskings at this time? Okay, so Ace of Swords. So there are some divine masculines in this collective who are, or many spirits said, who, like I said, are getting a lot of clarity. They're gaining a lot of clarity regards to who they are, what they're meant to be, and who they're meant to become in general, like in terms of their life path. I do want to tune into this book here that actually goes into a little bit more depth regarding um what this particular card means in the gilded tarot deck as this is my um first time using this so the ace of swords is showing that it's the gift of truth that lets you see the world clearly communicate well and create a happy healthy reality Again, the gift of truth that lets you see the world clearly, communicate well, and create happy, healthy reality. So Spirit is basically saying that the divine masculines in this collective have been really true, like I said, gathering information, gathering their thoughts, and actually tuning in mentally to the things around them that matters to them. They're actually processing and eliminating what does not serve them and are actually giving what's giving attention to what's actually serving them at this time so ace of wands wow this is so powerful the ace of swords and the ace of wands spirit is really here at this time to get this message across in the ten of swords so this is showing me that there has been a divine there has been a divine masculine in this collective who has been really doing the work, who has been really like turning their, the sword that they have had in the past. Like I'm actually tuning in to this card as a past, something in the past that has, you know, that they have overcome. But this Ace of Wands is showing me that the Divine Masters in this collective have been channeling their inner passion. They've been actually working really hard, it seems. They're, but they, they it's like they gain a lot of energy by simply giving in to their highest self. Like a lot of Divine Masculines with the Ten of Swords have been actually trying to combat this from happening. A lot of them were afraid of growth. They were afraid to grow in the connection. They were afraid to grow within themselves. They were too comfortable in the past. But presently and moving forward, there's a, there is a group of divine masculines who know what they want, who knows exactly what they're channeling at this time. It's like they fought, they fought through the discomfort. They fought through the discomfort. And the Ten of Swords is showing me that the pain and the suffering that they had to endure just to get to the other side of things, just to get that Ace of Swords, the, the clear understanding, the clear clear conscious decision that they had to make, um, it, it's showing that that pain and suffering has ended. It it, it, it has ended. There's, there's no sign of suffering here. There's no sign of hurt or pain. I feel that this... Like what they just overcome in this message. Um, oh wow, yeah, it's a lot going on here. So what they had to overcome was was a lot. And um it it did it, it it was a lot of pain and suffering. It was a lot of things that they had to release, a lot of things that they had to 
um, give up for the sake of their own growth. A lot of divine masculines in this collective are really, really trying their hardest to do the work because they know that like they can't turn back around. There's no turning back because if they do, if they get up and try to turn back around, those swords are going to try to hit, hit them and, and get them back down to where they once were. But they're not trying to go back around. They're trying to keep crawling and keep crawling and keep moving ahead because that's the only thing that they feel that they should do at this time because they already got a taste of what true reality looks like for them, what, 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 what true abundance look like for them. In this connection and um the ace of wands really drew my like it really got my attention at this time and i wanted to tune into what that um to what the book says regarding this card so it says a gift an idea a project or a career opportunity take advantage of it with confidence and gratitude okay so yes the divine masculines at this time are not ignoring the opportunities they're actually taking a grab at it they're they're, they're, they're grabbing the opportunity by its collar and the spirit is saying that they are they're they're, they're really they're, they're turned up right now they're awakened it's 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 showing me an awakened masculine at this time now what's going on with the divine feminines right now all right yeah that was powerful that energy that i just channeled was very powerful but i definitely picked up a lot of hurt energy like a lot of pain a lot of tired a lot of like i like like he's showing up with the heart in his hand but he had to take it out of his leg. He had to take it. Well, that's what it looks like at the very least. Like, I'm looking at the white heart right there on his leg. But I'm saying he had to rip. He had to rip something off of his body. He had to sacrifice something in his life to, to, to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? That's really, really powerful um, at this time to be able to channel. And that's why I'm feeling so like it's it almost felt like almost a near death experience. Like that's why that's what I felt when I was tuning in. Like a lot of these masculines had to kind of like fight a lot of people just to get through you, get to you. A lot of um they had to fight a lot of third party circumstances, a lot of um things that were holding them back physically, like mentally, anxiety wise. Like they fought and it triggered a lot of anxiety because I, I can feel how stressed out they are behind closed doors. But when they come to you, they're going to show up looking and feeling like they're fine. And like they like it was nothing for them to come forward and just give you what you truly needed in the connection. So be aware when they come forward. Don't. And if you guys are not in communication, please do not worry. Do not um worry about speaking your piece about the past and and how you felt when he did this when he did that like leave it in the past because when he comes forward he will be the first more than nine times out of ten i'm sensing that he will be the first to speak up about the things that he knows that had bothered you and you know and i'm saying he because it's a divine masculine energy and it could be women or or male but I'm just going to put it as he because the divine masculine energy is showing really, really high. But it could be a feminine. It could be a, a female um, coming forward too, though. So take it how it resonates. But I'm sensing that this divine masculine is going to come forward and offer you. Not just offer you, but they're going to come forward and, and, and give you a sense of like understanding and, and a sense of like, um, like, they're going to just come, not, not, before they give you any sort of offer, they want to just basically bring you clarity. Let's just put it like that. They want to bring, bring you clarity about all the things that were going on in their lives that they were hiding from you. Because I sensed that the divine masculine was hiding a lot of things and were keeping secrets about things that were going on in their lives because for the sake of them not appearing as like a weak link, a weakling. That's why I just picked up. They didn't want you to feel like they were weak or that they were not in control of their reality when they really weren't. They were not in control of it, but they gained control of it by grasping the opportunities, grasping the chance that they have with you. A lot of them were afraid to lose you, so they knew that they had to grasp that opportunity to um, 
to bring themselves out of the water that they were drowning in, literally. Um, so let's keep moving forward. So now Divine Feminine, Queen of Swords. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of Divine Feminines in this collective who are standing their ground. They're standing their ground. They're not tolerating um, the things that they once used to tolerate. They're actually really... They're actually really um, being more independent in nature. They're speaking up for themselves. They're not letting anything slide. There's some divine feminists in this collective who have, who have kind of like had to tell people off aside from the divine masculine. Because of course, so yes, I'm seeing that there's some been some feminists in this collective who had told the divine masculine off terribly. But like, who's to say they they not to say that they deserve it, but you probably felt like it was valid for you to do that. And I see that you have been kind of like you know, giving orders to people like putting people in their place, in a sense. And you have been um, truly embodying what it means to be in control. And that's what the Divine Masculine has seen over these past couple of weeks. And, and it seems like months because at this point, it's like you are at your peak, Divine Feminine. You are at your highest energetic point at this time, especially after the 1111 portal. And that's why he's coming forward with an, with just an offer of just love and romance and stability for you. Um, and the reason why I said stability lasts is because like I said, they're not going to come forward and offer something just, just yet. They're going to try to bring you clarity first before, um, so they think, so they can fill you out before they try to give you, you know what I'm saying? That romantic offer, but they will come off romantic like, um, I'm sensing for this connection. Now the two of wands, I'm sensing that there's going to be, well, there are currently divine feminines who are like at a crossroads at this time. And they're trying to figure out which way to go. Um, if they want to keep straight, do they want to go left? Do they want to go right? And they're putting a lot of thought into, um, their future, it seems. Um, cause based on what I'm seeing, spirit is showing me the, the doves, the, 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 um, the birds, the doves in the background and the, the mountains and how they are, how the divine feminines are actually planning ahead on how they're going to approach this journey. And that could all, that could seriously mean, am I going to leave the masculine behind and move forward with my life and, you know, one day hope to see them again or meet someone else in this lifetime? Or am I going to go, you know, backwards and try to make these things work with the divine masculine? Or simply, do I just want to give up on him entirely or her? So divine feminists in this collective are seriously in their head about this connection. And they're actually not in their head for the wrong reasons. They're in their head thinking about their future and what it means for them if they choose to leave them alone entirely or, um, you know, move forward with their lives and hope that they meet again. And that's where the Divine Feminine are at, at this time. One more card, please. What the Divine Feminine is up to at this time. What is the Divine Feminine? Okay, so the Five of Pentacles. So I am seeing that there's some Divine Feminines who have been focused on their finances. A lot of them have been um, holding back a lot of their own suffering Um financially for the connection. Um, some divine feminines have been trying to save money. There have been some divine feminines who have been, um, like I said, trying to work things out for themselves, get getting their shit together. You know what I'm saying? Working on trying to like keep stability within themselves. And aside from finances, I am seeing that there has been some divine feminists who have left the divine masculine out in the cold. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm seeing the, um, I'm seeing how the divine masculine at one point could have been asking for the divine feminine for something of some sort, but the divine feminine said, no, like, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing this no more, or, you know, I'm not giving you something that you might have needed from me. I'm not giving you this no more. Like I'm taking my power back. I'm taking my money back. I don't know if there was some divine feminines in this collective who have been giving the divine mask a lot, uh, kind of like too much of themselves in terms of financial um, favors or financial gifts. Like divine uh, spirit is saying that, you know, many of you guys have either stopped or are going to stop now that you saw this message. 
um, it's definitely time to pull back your energy, Divine Feminines, and actually really, truly tune into, um, tune into looking out for yourself first for once and truly understanding that, you know, this is not about them. This is about you and your own happiness and how you choose to look out for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So... At this point, yes, and the cards from this deck is just so freaking powerful. That's why I'm kind of like timid about like the message that I'm giving out because like I'm so engulfed in the in the pictures and the imagery, and it's just so powerful to see just how impactful the messages are coming across in my head first, and then of course across to the video. I'm trying to get this to work out for you guys, but. At the bottom of the deck, we have the four of wands. So the overall end result for you, for you two as a collective, is um, peace, harmony, union, celebration, and heart and um, balance. Because with the four of wands, I, I'm seeing I'm seeing a happy family. I'm seeing a newlywed couple. I'm seeing celebrations again. I'm also seeing. Like, even though I didn't pull the card out, but the Three of Cups is really shining through. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm sensing that this collective of Divine Mass and Divine Feminines are going to end up truly happy. They're going to end up truly, truly happy as, as a couple and as, um, like I said, in union. Like, union energy is definitely here. Like, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of uh, Wands, like, that's giving me that indicator that the Divine Masculines are really serious about what they're talking about right now. Um, the Queen of Wands is also showing me that, you know, that there was once a third party who was um, interfering, who could have been interfering in the connection. But because of uh, the Empress, which is you, Divine Feminine, you were able to ward her away with just your presence alone and your absence. Um, when you walked away, you kind of like forced the Divine Masculine to choose um, who he truly wanted. And I, honestly, you didn't even give him the chance to not choose you because you walked away. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you basically left him where he was supposed to be, which was to under to, to figure out what the fuck he wanted. And he figured out that it was you that he, what is what he wanted. And so that Queen of Wands is no longer in the picture. She, 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 she's gone literally. So I would like to, like I said, pull one more card. Well, I didn't say like I said, um, but like I said, um, I'm really honestly, and two, two, two just showed up on the camera. I'm really in awe right now at this energy of this deck. Like I literally should have dropped a review of these cards before I did a whole reading on these cards. But, um, yeah. So excuse me if I'm just like, whoa. Okay. But the queen of cups is showing me that you have been so nurturing. I'm also seeing a pregnant woman too. I'm seeing someone who's pregnant. Um, who is expecting or is going to find out that they're expecting, but I'm seeing such a nurturing and of course all animals around them too. Yeah. You being such a nurturing person, um, so kind hearted, so willing to give. Um, and as a result of this reading, I'm seeing that the divine feminine is going to turn from this queen of swords energy to the queen of cups. For once in the collection, in the in the connection, because I feel like you were you were being the Queen of Cups in the beginning, but for a while now you had to turn on your Queen of Swords energy in order to demand what you wanted in the connection, and that's exactly what was needed. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what was needed in order for you as the Divine Feminine to truly get what you wanted. Um, and so Spirit is saying that you. Like with the magic that you've done alone and the natural magic, not that artificial shit that, you know what I'm saying? That people, you know, like do, you, you did it naturally. Like your, your presence alone, your energy alone, um, the fact that it was divinely led for you and your counterpart to end up in union, like you alone have mastered what it's like to have power in this connection and your divine masculine saw that and after being in hermit mode after being in a period of hermit mode and after like i said time did go by time definitely has gone by a lot of you guys kind of have 